What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range and today we're going to have some fun with one of my favorite handgun cartridges, the best millimeter, 10 millimeter. I have quite the spread of handguns to show you. Let's go check them out and get started. So today I have several different handguns chambered in 10 mil, some of my favorites, and one of which was my very first 10 mil that I've ever owned. We're gonna take a few shots of these steel targets while I tell you a little bit about them. We have a plethora of Underwood ammo to go through today, but before we get started, let me tell you about today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Kamakoto Knives. Kamakoto makes great Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional techniques from Japan. Kamakoto Knives only uses steel sourced from Japanese mills, so you know you're getting the real deal. And each set comes in this beautiful, heavy-duty ashwood box, which I think makes for a great gift. Each Kamakoto knife is individually inspected. And Kamakoto is so confident in their knives that each knife comes with a lifetime guarantee. Let's see how it cuts this level 3A soft body armor. It's doing a pretty good job, but that is a really good way to dull your edge. If you want to keep your Kamakoto knives nice and sharp, you need to check out Kamakoto sharpening whetstones. I don't know if you know this or not, but Valentine's Day is coming up. Maybe you need some sharp knives to prepare your Valentine's Day meal, or maybe you're looking for a nice gift. Currently, Kamakoto is having a massive Valentine's Day sale. And on top of that sale, you can get an additional $50 off your purchase when you use my promo code, Kentucky. So click the link in the description down below or swing over to kamakoto.com backslash Kentucky, use promo code Kentucky, and get an additional $50 off your purchase today. Again, a big thank you to Kamakoto Knives for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's go have some fun. All right, so first up, is the one and only revolver that I have in 10 mil. This is a Smith & Wesson model 610, has a six and a half inch barrel, and is a six shot double action revolver. Let's take a few shots with it. You're supposed to have moon clips with this thing, as you can see here. When I tried to eject the empty uh, casings, they won't come out because I forgot my moon clips. They just kind of do that move right there. Up next is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 10 millimeter. It's a semi-automatic handgun, has a four inch barrel, holds 15 rounds and comes optics ready. That's a lot of 10 mil. Next, I have another Smith & Wesson m and 2.0. It's the exact same gun, except this one has a 4.6 inch barrel. A big thank you to Smith & Wesson for sending these over to us. Next is the very first 10 mil that I ever owned. This is a Gen 4 Glock 20 10 millimeter, has a 4.6 inch barrel, holds 15 rounds of 10 mil, and has a very nice flat dark earth Cerakote. Hadn't shot this one in a while. I haven't shot this gun in probably a year or longer. Haven't cleaned it. Still runs like a champ. Up next is a Glock that I have wanted for a very long time and I finally got one. This is the Glock Gen 4 Model 40 10 millimeter. Has a six inch barrel, comes optics ready, holds 15 rounds of 10 mil. 
absolutely ridiculous looking. I love it so much. Have not shot it yet. Waited for you to be out here with me for the first shot. So let's do it. noticeable difference in recoil with this gun. I think because the slide is so long, that first shot, I don't know if you could hear it or not over the gunfire, but I said, oh wow, because the recoil with this was a lot lighter than all these other guns. Also, I forgot to mention the OD green Cerakote on the frame. Absolutely love it. The last 10 millimeter that I brought out here today is a 1911. This is the Kimber Rapide. I hope I'm saying that right. I believe it's pronounced repeat. It is a 10 mil 1911, holds eight rounds of 10 mil, has a five inch barrel, you have night sights, and it's got the really cool slide cuts with the gold barrel. All in all, it's a very pretty gun. This is the first 1911 10 mil that I have owned and I have not shot it yet. So let's get that out of the way. You just got jammed. Oh, we already got a jam. You just got jammed. That's a 1911 for you, I guess. You just got jammed. That's not good. Let's try again. There we go. Let's try this out. All right, we're not having a lot of luck. I know there's the whole war between 1911s and Glocks. I'm just saying it's not looking too good for 1911s today. That's all. I can't even get it to chamber one round. Come on. Ah! I'm going to put one in it. Let's see if it'll cycle the next round. You just got jammed. This is our problem right here. See? It's just not chambering the round. I don't know why. You just got jammed. There we go. You just got jammed. You just got jammed. You just got jammed. I tell you what, I'm glad that this thing only holds eight rounds. Otherwise, we would be out here all day long. So I took several shots with each gun, but you didn't really get to see it up close and in action. So now I have the slow-mo camera set up and I'm gonna do a mag dump with each one. First up is the Smith & Wesson Model 610. All right, now the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 with a four inch barrel. <laughs> now let's try out the 4.6 inch barrel. Now moving on to the clocks, the Gen 4 Model 20. <laughs> 
Trigger Finger is definitely getting a workout today. Now for my favorite so far today, the Glock Model 40. There's a noticeable difference in recoil. Now we're gonna try a rapid fire with the Kimber Rapid. I took the uh, full metal jackets out of it. Now I put some concealed carry ammo in here. This is Underwood ammo, 180 grain jacket at hollow points, pretty hot stuff. Very nice ammo, very clean. So uh, see if we can even get it to chamber one. You just got jammed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sad right now. Ah! You just got jammed. Hmm. Hey, here we go. I'm starting to think that maybe this thing needs a good cleaning. Maybe there's like a burr or something in there, but for some reason it is not wanting to chamber those rounds. You know, the Olympics are going on right now. If there's ever a table toss, gold medal. Up first, I'm going to prepare my favorite dish, Kentucky coleslaw. Okay, up next, we're gonna continue the war on diabetes. I've got a bunch of two liters set up and we're gonna do some more ambidextrous shooting. Right, up next, we're gonna shoot some oranges and some apples. Normally, this wouldn't be very cool, but I think it's gonna look awesome on a slow-mo camera. All right, this time I'm gonna use the Glock 40, and we have some Underwood ammo, 180 grain jacket at hollow points. is a target that we have not used before. I have ragu spaghetti sauce. I'm gonna use the Glock 40 again. It's kind of becoming my favorite. Here we go.
might have to back up just a tad. Here we go. went so high. Mwah. Up next, we're gonna shoot some coconuts. Because nobody likes coconuts. <laughs> I'm not kicking a coconut, are you crazy? Gonna use the old Smith & Wesson Model 610 this time. Just nick that little dude, huh? Biggest one for last. Now, we're gonna shoot some pineapple. Some of these things have been out here for a while, they're a little soggy, so I'm curious to see what happens when we shoot them. This is gonna be messy. Apples that set out for about two weeks are extra juicy. You know, I've been meaning to take this car to the dump for a while now, but I just keep finding ways to use it. Well, I mean, it was a good idea, and uh, we tried it. Looks like the table hit the back of the car. You can see spaghetti sauce here, but the rope was not strong enough to yank it through the car. So, we'll have to try again next time, and uh, guess I'll just bring some steel cable or chains. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. Out of all of the 10 millimeters that we had today, which one would you pick? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you wanna pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time.